What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Redmi Note 7 Pro Violet to Android 10 running a Pixel skin. So again over here, as you can see, I'm running a Pixel experience ROM and it's pretty much stable. If you go to the left, you have your Google now, then again your status bar and stuff. Pretty much everything is as same as the Android Pie. But over here, there are many under the hood changes for the performance and the features to just make your life much more easier. Now, I explained the Android 10 features like a lot of time. So without wasting further time, I want to just run down a few of the things if you have already used stock android rom on your redmi note 7 pro so for example the performance the performance is mind-blowing over here even for one of the first builds this rom is like quick like even the stock apps open like as fast as auction os so even if you just go to the play store and stuff everything is just extremely quick like settings app like everything just opens on a tap so even if you go to the UI and stuff, pretty much everything is just the same. They have yet to still add some Pixel 4 features or some of the remaining Pixel 3 features. For example, it shows the remaining estimated time for the battery to drain in the Pixel 3. Right now, it just says the carrier. Pretty much Volti works on all of the sims. ID and Airtel might have few issues, but Geo surely works completely. Then again, just talking about the quick toggles, pretty much nothing over here. You can quickly add or edit right over here. Your screencast, dark mode, everything just working fine. So coming back, your recent apps panel, Pretty much the same stuff. So talking about the gestures, we will just take a look at later on. But if you just take a look at the apps, apps are pretty much just same as before. Pretty plain stuff that you get updated through the Play Store. So nothing even that. But yeah, this ROM does have a complete support for Gcam. So you pretty much can use anything because if you install ANX camera, which is the MIUI camera for custom ROMs, you will completely destroy the fixes that developers have actually added right now in order to get the camera working. So again, you can use any Gcam that you like previously over to this ROM. So for example, right now I'm using a Gcam from Pixel 4. I have already made a video on this. Press the I button over here. Or if you want updates on when this ROM will be arriving for your phone, just follow me on Instagram. I will be posting my rest of the work right over there. But as you can see, Pixel Cam from Pixel 4 just working completely fine. So again, going back, like the animations are very smoothened out. It pretty much misses nothing. For example, in Android Lollipop, when these things were actually announced, it was very jaggy, stuttery. The animations couldn't actually work all the time. Sometimes the apps just used to snap, but oh, here the animations just work fine. Like each and every single app has a complete animation. So directly hopping onto the settings app, let's just go over there. As you can see, finish setting up your pixel cause I haven't already done it. So you have search settings right over there. You have your Google account, internet and security and stuff. Pretty much everything has been revamped over here thanks to Android 10. So for example, if you now go to the network, Wi-Fi, if you're inside a restaurant or something, you don't have to just put in the password or just ask for them, which is pretty great. Now coming down to the apps and notifications, you do have a notification assistant right over here, I guess. Cause Pixel Experience 10 is still in beta. They have yet to add more features. So again, you can update to this ROM whenever you like, you will have most of the features. So again over here, you do have option for allow notifications snoozing cause Android 10 does actually have silent notifications and normal notifications. So again, right over here, I don't have anything to just demo it, but if you don't want silent notifications, you can of course switch it to snoozing, just right over here. So coming back, battery, battery is just pretty much the same. They have no optimizations for it at all right now. So going directly to the display, you do have toggleable dark theme officially right over here. So what it does is just completely switches everything to the dark mode. And as this is Android 10, you can of course turn on override four star and pretty much it turns each and every single app into a dark mode app. So quickly switching app, that's pretty fast. So you do have adaptive brightness and very nice animations for it and pretty much your normal stuff. Now, if you go to the off screen display still, there is no customization. You have to actually wait for the Pixel 4 launch in order to get that features. So going back, sound, storage, pretty much nothing. Everything just works fine. You do have a all new privacy tab right over here and it does have a lot of privacy and permissions features added. You have to just explore it on yourself to your liking. But now if you go to the location, you do have app based location permissions. So for example, if I just turn on allowed while in use only, it will turn on the location for those apps specifically when they are needed. For example, I use Android Auto, but I just don't want the Android Auto to be draining my battery all the time using location. I can just turn it right over there. And whenever I plug my phone into my car, it turns on location automatically. So that's like a very time saver thing for me, but directly going to the security, you do have fingerprint right over here, Google Play system update. So you can actually get security patches through the Play Store directly. For example, Xiaomi just takes like two to three months to just ship out one security patch. For example, Redmi Note 7 just literally gets nothing. You can now directly get security patches through the Google Play Store, which is just amazing. Right now it's running the latest September patch. So literally nothing right over here. 
there won't be any kind of face on the features right over here you have to again wait for the pixel 4 so again directly going down you have accounts accessibility any accessibility yep there are a ton of more features available right over here but pretty much no one will use at least you have any kind of disability so directly going down to the digital well-being and parental controls yep you do have it if you want the parental controls you can directly download it on the play store but again digital well-being as same as before tracks down everything that you want pretty neat features so directly going down to the system advanced you have system updates as being an official rom yes you can directly download the ot update and update it right over here so going down to the gestures system navigation you have three types of gestures so again if you're coming from a mui rom this won't be hard at all the gestures are pretty much as same as mi ui now for example these are the new gestures for the pixel 4 you can also select the sensitivity for it which is pretty good if you have a curved screen like a one plus seven pro but these are your normal gestures so again you can see there are two triggers right over there you can quickly trigger the google assistant by that just like this again google assistant would be getting a new ui once the pixel 4 releases so again now if you want to go to the recent apps panel just like an iphone there you go recent apps panel again the recent apps panel pretty much has your previous stuff for example if you now tap the app you have split screen and app info but if it's kind of like a third party app and if you just don't want the notifications or just completely pause the app in background because you just don't use it at all for example fm radio i can now directly pause the app as much as i want which is just amazing i wanted this feature like for a longer time but it wasn't available in non-rooted phones so again just going down to the recent as fun or pretty much nothing just as same as before so again talking about the gestures yeah these are new gestures if you want to just quickly switch the app you can do it right like this or if you just want to go back again just like miui but it makes harder for some of the things like accessing hamburg menu like for example in miui pretty much this part doesn't actually apply for the back gesture so it's easy to just do a hamburg menu right over here but actually triggers back button so now if you want to do it in android 10 you have to now hold down over here and now drag it but still just activates that so yep someone told me if you just do it on a 45 degree angle it works but nope if you now want to use the hamburg menu you have to actually just hold a specific point yep there you go and now you can access the hamburg menu like that i just don't know what's wrong with google but that's how you trigger it so directly going down to the about phone section you get android 10 google play system update 10 september 5 patch the latest and the greatest and yeah that's pretty much it for the android 10 now how to update to it it's pretty much very easy if you have actually installed a custom rom previously it's like that simple you have to unlock the phone's bootloader it would take like half a month to three days depending on the moe servers then you have to install a custom recovery which i have even made a video on and there are like thousands of video already on it so you have to install a custom recovery then download two of the zips in the description and your favorite gcam once you do that just power off your phone hold on your volume up and power at the same time in order to go to the recovery once you enter the recovery just go to wipe advanced swipe dalvi cache system vendor and data just swipe to wipe once the wiping has been successful you have to just go back but if it gives an error right over here you have to format your whole internal storage so for that you have to just go to wipe format data and type in yes over here and hit enter so again make sure that you back up everything once that is done, just go to the install and make sure that you are updated to your phone recently because if you're running an older firmware, the ROM might not install. So again, just to be on the safer side, I will also tell you how to install a latest China firmware. So you have to just download it like this. I'm using a 15 August firmware right over here. Add more zips, select the actual ROM, Pixel Experience Violet, add more zips, fcrypt disable. So this won't actually encrypt your phone again because Android 10 has weird encryption. So you might not be able to use your recovery back again. So if you just want like me, just install this zip too. And there you go. So this might take a bit of a time. There you go. The firmware has been installed. Now it's installing the ROM. And just after a minute, all the zips have been successfully installed. As you can see, no errors at all. So reboot system. And the screen now will flash a couple of times. That just completely okay. Don't panic. And you will be booted into Android 10 like in few minutes. And the phone is finally back up. So let me just set it up quickly. Skip, skip, continue. Next, accept. Fingerprint and pattern, let's just input one. So let me just show you guys that it completely works and actually faster than MIUI. So as you can see over here, it just inputs like twice the speed of MIUI. There you go, completely set up. Next. There you go, our phone is now completely up. So again over here, as this is the initial build, yes, there are few bugs, but they are completely ignorable as these are just completely free ROMs. But yeah, there is one noticeable one right now in this first build. If you just go to the system and enable full screen gestures, for example, like this, 
Now, for example, if you just enter any kind of app like files, and if you have auto rotation on, if you just rotate the app and come back, it's scaled down. So again, over here, you have a completely scaled down app over here. That's cause of this full screen navigation. So again, a quick fix for it. Just don't use the auto rotation or the full screen navigation as of like one week and you will be completely okay. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the Pixel Experience 10 ROM. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to this channel. It would be a lot of help and see you guys in the next one. Peace.